Hey, what's going on YouTube? Today I'm going to show you guys how we achieved the shotgun blowback in my last Call of Duty Modern Warfare video. Now this isn't going to be a click for click type tutorial. It's going to be more of, you know, I'm going to show you the techniques that I used and that way you can go through and you can do something similar yourself but, you know, add your own little twist to it. Right here You'll see that we have a camera set up on a tripod. He goes and kicks the door, and right away you can see that we have a guy with some hands grabbing onto the back of him. You can even see his foot right here. And we simulate a shot, and he goes and pulls him back. And right away you can definitely see that we have a mattress sitting behind him. All of that's going to have to be removed to make this a believable shot. Now the first thing that I noticed was that once he opens the door you can kind of see him accelerating right right around this area and that I didn't want I want it to be more of a jerk rather than a slow acceleration so what I did is I made two copies of the clip so I duplicated so this way it goes up from right here and then it just goes right to this you know basically I'm cutting off a whole like a good five frames that way just looks like a nice blast and he gets blown back. There's no acceleration which I believe makes it look a little bit more believable. Now while I was shooting I realized that I was going to need a clean plate which is an actual shot video of the footage without anything in it. You know no people nothing going on in the background and the way that I did this was I took a still frame when there was just nothing there. You can see that this is from the same angle, the camera was in the same view, and I just cut out the the uh, door with the mask, that way you're only seeing the outside. So from there, we start getting into a little bit more complicated area where we kind of had to go in and start masking things out and that took a lot of time but you can see that this is where things can get a little bit complicated and time consuming but you see I have about four masks going on and these are all just different areas and right when he walks he goes and kicks the door and right away you'll see these masks are here but they're not really they're not applied because I have the mass expansion right here all the way down to a hundred a negative hundred and fifty pixels so they're there but they're not doing anything right away we have the green mask which is right here mask one and that's masking out the inside of his legs so right now we're seeing everything from him kicking in the door except right here because it's being cut out and what it's showing is what's behind it, which is the actual clean slate that I showed you just a minute ago, where there's no mattress, there's no, no guy pulling them or anything like that. That way you're getting a nice clean footage with no, nothing in the background. If I take the expansion right here and go into negative, you'll see that right away you'll see the mattress, you'll see all this stuff there that doesn't need to be there. So that's how we went through and achieved this shot is that once you, you can see right now that right here the orange mask once he starts moving forward the orange mask is then applied right about here is where it starts starts working and then it's just rotoscoped in to get rid of the guy holding onto his back and you can see as it goes through once it gets to here, right around the, right around there, the red mask starts taking into effect, and there you have it. Now this is somewhat of a complicated shot, but if you can get the masking down, you can really achieve some nice looking footage, and you know for for how quick it was actually done, the footage came out pretty well. If you guys have any questions or concerns on how else I did things 
um, please let me know. Again, this was just a quick walkthrough. Um, if YouTube had a little bit more than 15 minute limit on there, I'd be able to do something a little bit more lengthy and click for click, but to be honest, it took a lot longer than 15 minutes. So, again, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you get a chance, subscribe and check out my Modern Warfare 2 video. Thanks a lot, guys.